In this video, we'll show you how to create this GTA map effect in Filmora, which will help you duplicate a similar scene but with your elements. First, open Google Earth and navigate to the desired location. In the Layers section, select Clean to remove all text from the map. Zoom in on the location, keeping the height at 200 meters, and take a snapshot. Then, zoom out and set the height to 400 meters. Take another snapshot. Repeat the process with a height of 800 meters and take a third snapshot. Now, switch to Filmora. Import the snapshots and place the 200 meter snapshot on track 1. Keep it for 1 second. At the start, set the scale to 160, and at the end, adjust the scale to fill the screen. Extend it for 5 frames. Drop the second snapshot on track 2, reduce the opacity, and adjust the scale to match the track 1 snapshot. Increase the opacity to 100 and make the first snapshot 1 second long. Place the second snapshot on track 1 after the first snapshot, keeping it for 1 second. At the end, adjust the scale according to the screen. Extend the second snapshot by 5 frames. Place the third snapshot on track 2. Reduce the opacity and adjust the scale and position to match it with the second snapshot. Once done, increase the opacity to 100%. Shrink the second snapshot by 5 frames and place the third snapshot on track 1 after the second snapshot. At the start, add a keyframe for scale. At the end, change the scale until the edges of the snapshot. To create a flash between the snapshots resembling the original map transition in GTA, go to the Transitions tab. Use the Flash Transition, placing it at the intersection of the first and second snapshots, and then between the second and third snapshots. Adjust the transition duration to 14 frames. To create clouds, download free cloud PNGs from Google. Place the first cloud image on track 4 at 2 seconds. Adjust the position of the clouds as desired. At 2 seconds and the 7th frame, add scale and position keyframes. Towards the end, refine the scale and position to create a stable cloud appearance. Take your time for precise adjustments. Place the second cloud PNG on track 5, position it differently, and add scale and position keyframes at 2 seconds and the 7th frame. Adjust the position and scale towards the end. Download a free plain PNG from Google or freepick.com. Place the plain PNG on track 3 at 2 seconds. Adjust the scale and starting position. Towards the end, modify the scale and position to simulate the effect of the plane flying above the city as the camera zooms out. To introduce distortion during the flash, go to the Effects tab and navigate to the Distortion folder. Apply the Narrow effect on track 6 only for 14 frames. Double-click on the effect, select the Circle Mask, set the Blur Strength to 15, and add keyframes for percentage and opacity. In the middle, change percentage to 20 and opacity to 100. At the end of the effect, change percentage to 0 and opacity to 0. Duplicate it and place it on the second transition. Apply an adjustment layer on the top track, making it 7 seconds long. Adjust color settings, vibrance to 36, saturation to 34, exposure to 3, brightness to 5, contrast to minus 70, highlight to minus 15, shadow to minus 41, white to 4, and black to minus 43. To add a retro feel, go to the Effects tab and apply the old camera LUT. Now, render the project to preview the final result. That's all for today. If you are interested in more visual effects, check out filmora.wondershare.com.